Amanda here with Homeschool and Life, and I'm excited to bring you another video this week. Um, the The year is wrapping up. My kids have just finished up like their third quarterly test for their math and their third quarterly test for biology. And the the younger ones who are in elementary and the middle school, their books are getting smaller and smaller. So I feel like we are on the downhill slope towards the end of the year. And so we just finished up a biology unit, and so I thought this week um, I would just go ahead and share my thoughts and opinions on the Apologia. Well, I can see, look, I can't even show you the picture of the front because <laughs> the book didn't last very long at our house. Here's the teacher book. The Apologia Biology. And um, that's what we chose to do this year, and I feel like um, we've got enough done throughout the year now that I can give my honest opinion. Uh, but first, aren't these cool? I love this time of year, and I love little boys because these get brought in all the time um, this time of year. And so I'll be sad when I don't have little boys around to bring me these. Sorry. Side mm -hmm. note. Um, okay. So if you were think, oh, look, here's what the front would look like in the Apologia Biology. So... I'm going to be honest, this was a, this is, I guess we're only done with three quarters of it. This is a tough course. Um, this is pretty hard. It is harder than the biology class I remember taking in high school. And if you read um, in like the parent notes, like on how the grading on how to grade and stuff, they say that if a student legitimately gets a true C, like where, you know, they're doing the work, the parents aren't helping them doing their work, then they would be prepared for college in this course. And I 100% agree with that. If your child is on the path to go to college, then this biology class is a, a, an excellent college prep class. Um, it has all the components that like the kids would need for college like the study guides the quarterly tests the like in-depth information the way the questions are even worded like it is a great class um so like during, when my kids were taking this class I was actually finishing up my master's I was on my last couple of classes as they were doing this and uh, I got my master's in nutrition so one of the modules um kind of overlapped with some of my classes and what I was doing on my mat not just bachelor's on my master's level college classes is some of the stuff that the kids were doing in this biology and i was like okay this is a this is a good prep course so how it's kind of set up is well first off i guess i should say well you can't really see my computer can you this is just off the apology a website and i know you guys are smart and can go look for yourself so you, you have options. You can do a self-paced course, which costs a little bit more money, and that's where um, it's going to do all the grading for you, which sometimes like that is so worth it to pay for. Um, you can just do the course, which is all we did, is where you we bought the book, we bought the lab materials, and we bought the student notebooks, and then like we're self-guiding it ourselves, and then like where Lauren and I are able to help our children, or... You can even sign up for a live class, which I'm going to put this over here because you can't even tell what it is. So you have, and then you can also do an ebook and you can buy the audio book. So like they have it set up to where you can buy it for whatever type of learner you have. Um, I think the live class would have been pretty cool, but it was like, it was a little too expensive for us. And even the self paced where like they do all the grading and everything was like with everything we had to buy was just going to make it too expensive because the course even the basic level course, I would not say is cheap, but I would say if you are on the fence on spending the money for the basic level course, like it's absolutely, it is worth the money that we paid for it. Um, this was the year we actually spent the most on homeschool curriculum than we ever have, but I think it's because we had high school, junior high, middle school, and elementary, and then just the high school stuff is more expensive. Sorry, so I'm getting off topic. I just want you to know you can by the options like if you don't feel comfortable or confident being able to teach it so how the book is laid out is it has it can you see this like it has a schedule for you it's like self-paced where you can do this in 34 weeks now I think it's kind of hard the way it's paced out because like there is a lot of reading and like there's not very much time in between the tests, the major study guides and the tests, but 
like it's obviously over 34 weeks so as a parent you're able to adjust the schedule if you need to we haven't really adjusted it too much because my kids want to finish a little bit earlier and have some time on the end but if you don't adjust it i mean it's it's work like we tried to do a a block scheduling in our house to where um you know where they were only doing biology a few days a week but to follow that schedule like they're doing it all five days a week so it lays out the schedule for you and every day they have you know some reading and then they go along and they do their study guide questions the day of their reading at the end they have like a full study guide before they take their test um and again it's it's in depth and hard and then it's set up where they have labs and that's what lauren and i are getting together and doing and the labs are very professionally and well set up i'm going to try to find one that i had them open to the pages but then i started talking so like here's one where they had to look under the microscope and draw and label what they see and after they do their labs, there's always a lab report at the end where they need to write a summary over like how the lab connected to what they learned. Um, we don't always do that. Mainly it's just a time restraint, but I do at least ask them verbally like, hey, did that make sense? Did that make the chapter make sense to you? Things like that. But sometimes I do make them do the full summary report. And I, just, I feel like they are learning very well. And then they... Obviously, they have the tests. Um, you can do the test however you want. You can let it be an open book or you can make it be a closed book. Personally, I am having my freshman. She has to do everything closed book, everything hard because I'm thinking college prep for her. And then my seventh grader, um, I make him do it closed book. And then when he gets wrong, I make him go to an open book. Mainly because I feel really sorry for him because he's going to have to take this biology course again. What do you guys think? I, I feel like it is a 9th through 12th grade level class. And so I was not going to give him a credit for it, even though he's doing the work with everybody else. Um, but he wanted to get to stay with his group that we do school with. And so I was just going to have him take it again in high school. And then it just be a very easy class for him. I don't know. So I'm being a little bit lenient on him. But he is doing the work. So when you buy this course, and um, we're about to bust this open today, this is our bag of animals. Lauren and I are sharing it. Tomorrow we have our first animal dissection. We've done a lot of the microscopes things um, already, and now we're going to get into the animals. I recommend buying the stuff like uh, just at the beginning of the year go ahead buy it all buy the dissection kit buy the animals buy the student book buy the teacher book that has all the solutions and the tests because it will just make things like so much easier to already have it with you and so that's what made it a little bit pricey um, Lauren and I actually we just we just share the microscope because we ended up buying a nice one and you guys will really need it um, let me think. So I've got the animals, you've got this, you've got the reading. I would say overall, I would recommend the Apologia Biology. I feel like it is, um, very like informational. It gives you the information you need and it is a very well put together course. If you have somebody that struggles with the reading and staying on top of it, you might need to go along with them, but I feel like it's been a really good course to help my kids um, get prepared for just being more independent learners. One of the features in the book is after you purchase all of it, this is kind of cool, like you can go to their website and there's like an extra resources page and it gives you the password when you purchase everything that you, it gives you links to all these extra information. So like if your kid really liked the chapter on viruses or bacteria or whatever, um, you can kind of go check it out, maybe point them into the direction of some of those things. And it would, I would say it takes, I would say my kids work on this for 45 minutes to an hour every day. At the beginning of the year, whenever like, you know, the study guides were long or they would prepare for their tests, it would um, seem overwhelming to them. But now that we're into the third quarter, they've kind of got the routine down and the system down and um, it's like so much better. So that just goes to show that even though something is maybe hard or difficult or a lot of information at the beginning, like if you keep working at it, you'll get into the routine and figure out how to do it. 
So Apologia Biology is a good course. I do recommend it. It might be a little bit much. It like, might be um, a little overwhelming, but that's okay because it is a good prepper for college. Um, it even like on the grading, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place for you, but even on the grading, it goes back and it like helps you even break down the percentage of the grades. So like they get a percentage for their lab, they get a percentage for their test, they get a percentage for their, um, their actual work. And I feel like that is like an accurate representation of how things will be for them if they go to college. <laughs> Except for on the, like when they get ready to take the quarterly test, there's not a whole lot of time between like, oh, study for a quarterly test and take the test. But sometimes I'll give them an extra day or two or sometimes I won't. So anyways, if you were thinking about getting it, I would recommend it. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we're happy to answer that. And thanks so much for watching and we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.